Hey everyone, Kane here. In this video, we're going to talk about the Fortress faction. I know this is kind of late because they are already out. And I did get to test it a little bit on the test servers. So I kind of do want to give my own opinion on the faction in general. To start, the hero itself acts a little bit like Craghack that we do have in game, but with some slight twists here and there. The Tsar acts like a huge counter to most factions who have a lot of healing, like Tower, potentially Inferno healing as well, through Pit Fiend and Devil being with Xeron, as well as future Rampart faction who will have huge healing abilities. Against other faction leaders or heroes, it I guess depends on the formation, so there is not much I can say regarding that unless I see or test it myself. Heading over through skills and specialties, the Tsar has two stuns, some AoE health percent damage as well as a whole field buff on friendly units and debuff on enemy units. His specialties are where most of his power lies buffing his ultimate and then after buffing fortress units enormously during the ultimate. The 1000 crit hit buff sure sounds overpowered, but whenever Tazar did cast his ultimate, I did not really notice that enemy units would start dropping like flies. What that means? There is probably a soft or hard cap on critical, which increases as the number gets bigger. What that means is if you get 10% critical for say 100 points, the next 100 points would provide only 5%. In other words, 200 critical hit would turn to 15% critical and so on. Now don't take my words out of context, this was just a theory. Other than that, it's just units buffers and spell buffers. Moving through units, out of all of these that have been released, the only unit that came to my attention was Vyvern. This unit to me is absolutely broken. The damage output it is able to do with just level 7 skills is insane. During my testing on the servers, I got enough shards to completely max out unit's potential. So I was like, hmm, Hydra? and then I maxed its potential completely. Whereas all other units were just 5, 5 and 10 in the talent points, 10 being in the ones where they should perform better. For example, if it was a defensive unit, I put the 10 in strength. If it was a damage dealer, I put 10 in wisdom and so on. From what I can notice happening on the field, the fourth skill of the Vyvern does most of his damage. It says it makes all units suffer plague and it gives a slight buff on them. But when the units do receive the plague, they start to take huge amounts of damage over time, to the point where Phoenix was 50% down in just 10 seconds. And this triggers on all units on the enemy field. Of course, defensive units take less damage due to defense and damage reduction. This also deals 30% extra damage to bleeding units, so if you pair Wyvern with Dendroid and Green Dragon, I think most if not all backlines could just completely be removed from the field even if they are 4x units. 9x, I am not even sure if they could live through half of the triggers. The way I think what is happening is the plague is dealing some health percent damage, that number is just hidden from the plane view because no other debuffs would do 50% health damage with almost equal setting on stats of units. Could potentially be a bug or could be intentional. Who knows? I could not really test it out a lot as these replays were just some minutes before I had to go to work or I was already at work. And the servers closed the same day so I could not look into testing this unit through and through. The other R or SR units did not really wow me. They're just units with some buffs, debuffs and damage skills. However, SSR units do add some different gameplay potential. Like Gorgon with a percent chance to do 2500 times the damage on 3 units. However, this skill 
counts itself separately for every unit it can trigger on. From what I see and many people tested, only one unit kept getting one-shotted instead of three, as well as some defensive tanks like Behemoth and I believe one or two more survived the 2500 times the damage trigger. So it is not a completely one-shot skill to the front line, perhaps only just some of them. Even though it would be a fun thing to have, I am not sure if Gorgon can place in many formations outside of the fortress. The same for Hydra. Add some new fun ways of playing and some counters to let's say Inferno tanks which focus more on dodge. However, since I have maxed its potential fully and it was underperforming against the SR plus Wyvern when both had level 7 skills, who was just tearing down everything in sight, Hydra kind of falls. Now I am not sure if Hydra would outscale a Wyvern since there were some other people testing with level 1 skills and they said a Hydra was better. However, when I raised the level of the skills to 7 and Hydra had 40 on all potentials versus 5 and 5 and 10 potential on Wyvern, it kind of proves that Wyvern skills scale insanely harder. But again, this is all in a Tazar's formation. Whether or not you can use Wyvern in another formation is up to testing and I may even test it if I get invited to another test server. Personally, considering with what I got from trying it out, I would 100% replace Phoenix in my current formation with Wyvern in a Dragon Mutaire's team. All because I am using Dendroid, Centaur and so on, as well as Dragon Mutaire inflicts field-wide bleed. Wyvern can scale off of that to potentially the same damage with the Plague as she does with the Tsar. Could be slightly less or could be more. Will be up for testing in the future. This faction in general, I kinda like it. It reminds me of crag hack formations that I will also try and test out if I do get invited into the next test servers. But whether it is good and competitive, I cannot really say. It works similar like other races, easy to counter the enemy formations, but defense. Unless you actually have a mix of other factions, I feel like this race is very easy to counter with quite a few others. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.